Some um, newly obtained data is providing a clearer picture of the nuclear accident at Fukushima Daiichi. It shows how radiation levels near the plant rose before a hydrogen explosion. 14 monitoring posts recorded radiation levels every 20 seconds after the earthquake and tsunami that damaged the plant three years ago. The levels started to rise the following day at a post more than five kilometers away. Measurements show radiation began surging at 2.10 in the afternoon. At 2.40, the readings briefly hit 4.6 millisieverts per hour, the highest mark that day. An hour later, there was a hydrogen explosion at reactor number one. Information may lead researchers to new discoveries. We would like to get as much data as possible. At the time, crews were trying to reduce pressure within the reactor's containment vessel, performing an operation called vent work. And Chino says that may have caused radiation levels to rise. A U.S. nuclear expert has stressed the need to prepare for accidents at nuclear plants. The former head of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission told NHK that there is no way to completely prevent them. People have to focus more on the consequences of the accident and look at ways not just to reduce the chance of an accident happening, but to really look at the fundamental design of the reactors to see what can be done to actually... <laughs> or reduce the consequences that we saw from, from the Fukushima Daiichi accident. Yatsuko said restarting Japan's nuclear power plants won't be justified unless the public supports the move. Today we have no electricity that comes from nuclear power plants. We should continue as we are without using nuclear power and focus on renewable energy sources, energy conservation and invest in products that consume less energy. If we do that, it is not impossible for us to do without nuclear power. Japan is a small country and we have so many nuclear power plants. On top of that, we have so many earthquakes. If we don't stop now, what's going to happen in the future? I want politicians to think about our children and their children's children. Before, we were using nuclear electricity and I was wondering if what we were doing was right. Then, after the nuclear accident, I realized how dangerous what we were doing was. Now we seem to have enough electricity, and I can't forget what happened. So we should realize how dangerous nuclear power is. <laughs>
America's commitment to seek the peace and security of, of a, a world, world without, without nuclear weapons. Of a world without nuclear weapons. This matters to people everywhere. Some argue that the spread of these weapons cannot be stopped, cannot be checked. Such fatalism is a deadly adversary. For if we believe that the spread of nuclear weapons is inevitable, then in some way we are admitting to ourselves that the use of nuclear weapons is inevitable. To denounce a call for cooperation is an easy but also a cowardly thing to do. That's how wars begin. That's where human progress ends. But make no mistake. When we fail to pursue peace, then it stays forever beyond our grasp. Forever beyond our grasp. Forever beyond our grasp. It will take patience and persistence. But we must ignore the voices who tell us the world cannot change. Human destiny will be what we make of it. Let us bridge our divisions, build upon our hopes, and accept our responsibility to leave this world. To leave this world more prosperous, more prosperous, and more peaceful than we found it. And more peaceful than we found it. And more peaceful than we found it. And I, ah, in the in the in the in the some progress has been made in rebuilding the disaster area in the past three years. There are still some nuclear issues that Japan needs to explain to the global community, especially to neighboring countries, which are very concerned with it. So we hope Japan takes these concerns seriously and accounts to the global community and takes practical, responsible measures to solve it. Uh, Harry Bernas, of course the Chinese are also building nuclear reactors, but the, the, the fact that there is this brewing standoff in the East China Sea between China and Japan and statements like the one you just heard how volatile does that make nuclear energy? Very. The, I'm, I'm convinced that we're, we're still here by chance. There have been so many occasions for including accidents, nuclear accidents, in, uh, in the last uh, 70, 60 or 70 years that I really think we're still here by chance. And this is, a, this is another potential occasion. The, uh, the amount of plutonium that's stored at uh, Rokasho, which is the, uh, the, the, the plant where the, uh, there's recycling of plutonium, is enough to make about 10,000 nuclear bombs. They don't make bombs. They don't have a military plan to make bombs. But the potential is there. They're very advanced technologically, of course. They're very competent. And of course, the Chinese are quite well aware of that. And they, they also are very competent. And they're fighting over a bunch of islands in the middle of the Chinese Sea. And it's all dangerous. The world is a dangerous place. We don't realize it. But the world is a very dangerous place. And we're sitting on a volcano. And the volcano can start at one point, it can start at another point, and one of the points is somewhere between Japan and China. That's one thing. Another thing, which has nothing to do with it, but I think it, it would be a pity not to talk about it, is the fact that if there's any place where you shouldn't build nuclear reactors, it's in Japan. Because there are, there are geological faults all over the place. And the biggest plant in the world is just across the Honshu Island on the other side of uh, Fukushima, it has seven nuclear reactors, and there are four geological faults running right under the reactor. If an accident takes place there, the first place that's going to be hit, besides Japan, is China. At Yuka Hawaii, of course, nuclear power plants are not built overnight. These are decisions that are taken over, over decades. Why does Japan have so many nuclear power plants if it's on these seismic fault lines? And simply because it is a small country it is an island and it doesn't have a lot of natural resources so uh, when the government introduced first introduced plans to build nuclear plants they advertised they um, told the public that it was the answer to japan's lack of natural resources um, and it was um, it was the only way uh, for japan to be self-sufficient in terms of electricity uh, do you agree matthias fekel that we may still be here simply by by chance would have to um, 
in other countries. So it's a, um, some, they have been there has to be enhanced security uh, on, on nuclear reactors and as I said there has to be a European effort uh, to be specific but of course when you see accidents like uh, uh, like uh, this one or like Chernobyl like other ones it's amazing and what changed with uh, Fukushima is that it uh, happened in a country which uh, had the reputation of being safe concerning nuclear energy. When you see Chernobyl, everybody could say, well, it was a, an old uh, reactor and so on. Japan was uh, supposed to be very safe. So, I just said, I, I'm not a specialist, but uh, obviously there are lots of dangers um, linked to, uh, to nuclear energy. Um, in France, um, there have been lots of efforts to try to enhance security. There have been lots of measures taken on that aspect. And uh, uh, Anne Lauvergeon, for example, did an important job on, on that part. It's also being exported. Uh, start now on, on research, on investment, to try to change our energy mix. And uh, when uh, President François Hollande decided to, um, to reduce the part of nuclear energy, which is 75% today in our energy mix, which, which will be 50% in 2025. It's a very important step, but we have to, uh, to stick to it, and we have to work uh, also with Germany, for example. Uh, the two uh, energy policies of the two countries are not, uh, are not the same. They are not uh, coordinated enough, I think, and sometimes they are even completely opposite. And Germany also um, shows the difficulty because they decided to uh, to stop nuclear energy, but when you see what they decided to uh, to take as other energies, it's coal, it's uh, energy coming from Russia, I'm not sure if it's uh, the safest energy and, and the cleanest energy, so it also shows that it's difficult to change the energy mix. And one last point, we have to enhance the efforts on uh, reducing energy consumption. This is also a very important aspect. First steps have been taken these last weeks with our uh, bill about housing, and how to uh, to uh, renovate the French houses and to to reduce energy consumption and lots can be done on that aspect. All right. According to the International Atomic Energy Agency, um, the number of nuclear power plants under construction is at its highest in a quarter century. Most of those in China, which is also banking heavily on renewables. H Harry Bemas, it seems as though governments the world over are saying nuclear power is still part of the mix. Wait a minute. For one, the, uh, the amount of money that's being put into new renewables is higher than for nuclear plants. That's one thing. It's about, I think it's something like double, the rate of increase and the absolute value. For example, China has 65 billion euros a year for renewables which is more than they have for nuclear plants. It's about twice what they have for nuclear plants. That's one thing. Another thing that I'd like to emphasize in the, in the direction of what uh, Matthias was saying is that uh, we need long-term thinking. And that's my answer to Jean-Louis. The, the, uh, we, we have policies, of course, economy is important. And competitive uh, economies is something we're really worrying about, especially in France and especially today. We need a European plan that's true, but we need to improve a number of things that can only be done by cooperation, which is, for example, the improvement of the efficiency of, uh, of energy in general, and particularly uh, renewables. Not only you can't fight intermittent sun, okay, but you can combine the different energies in such a way that you smooth out the, uh, the variations in the, in the production. It's very well known. It's been studied.